There's something so precious behind the veil. There's something that seems to be hidden. Hidden behind our thoughts, our minds, our minds hides the things that God wants us to have. God is giving us, He is giving us the inheritance of Himself. He is giving us everything that He is. In just a few moments, turn off every light. Because I want to show you something. I want to see Jesus. Do you want to see Jesus? How many is tired of everything else? How many is tired of churches it is today? You know why this darkness is in here? It's because there's an absence of light. There's an absence of light. When there's an absence of light in your life, there is darkness in your life. So that something similar. Listen, where did the darkness go? Where did it go? Where did it go? I don't know where it went. It just had to vanish. Why? Because when the light is present, there is no darkness. Hallelujah. When the light is present in your life, then there is no darkness. In the Old Testament, there was no presence. None whatsoever. There was no presence. You could not feel anything. You could not feel anything out in the congregation. You could not feel anything outside the veil. But only the high priest could go behind the veil. And behind the veil, he was able to feel the presence of God. Right now, in your imagination, could you imagine how it was behind the veil? What would you think you could feel if God's presence was just there? I mean, what would I feel when I walk back there? But yet we come to church, see the veil. The veil has been ripped. The veil is not there anymore. Through, through Christ Jesus, the presence of God is no longer limited and restricted and kept from us. All we have to do is the desire to be there. God has revealed Himself to the entire world. He's not saying that you can go, but you can't go, or you can go, but you can't go, or let me pick this one, she can go, but she can't go. Let me see, he can go, but this one can't go. So God said, every one of you, anybody here, anybody here, you want to feel me? You can feel me. If you want to touch me, you can touch me. It doesn't matter who you are or who you are. Don't you try to tear just by pulling. I want you to try to tear that collar right there. Go ahead and tear it off. Of me. Now, how do you handle that? Let me go this side. Let me just pull on that side. Come on, pull it. Pull it. Go ahead. All right. Can you do it? You know why? You know what this blue represents, son? You know what this garment represents in Jesus? This is his grave. We can't strip him from it. The robe was made and the collar was made out of such material that no man, no man could mend it. No man can tear it. No flesh can tear it. You hear what I'm saying? God is doing something high above what man can tear it. God, because of the sin in man's life, God couldn't come in. He couldn't enter in and have that presentation of himself and until that until the cross until the cross until jesus loved you so much that he went to the cross and gave his life for you that you might be saved the people couldn't go to god they would bring the offerings but the priest had to take the priest put on the garments when he put on the garments and he went in for you. And he went behind the veil. And he went in to the Lord. And the presence of God was there. Somebody we don't have the high priest anymore. Yes, we do. We have Jesus. Jesus became the high priest. Every high priest, nobody 
Nobody could pull the high priest out of their position. The one that became the high priest remained the high priest until their death. And you see, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus is not dead. Jesus is alive. Thank you. Jesus became our high priest. <laughs> Jesus didn't have to put on the robe. He was the robe. Yes. He didn't have to put on the righteousness. He was the righteousness. Yes. When Jesus went to the cross and he gave his life for you and I, something strange happened. There was darkness. Darkness. Oh, hallelujah. 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 